Tom McGee, the museum director for Bellingrad Gardens at Home, and I'm standing in the master bedroom uh, beside a, an interesting piece of furniture that Mrs. Bellingrad purchased through Royal Antiques of New Orleans, a firm that's still very much in business. Uh, interestingly, it came with a shipment of things she'd purchased in New Orleans. A letter explained it had not been in the shop when she'd been shopping, but they felt sure she'd want to see it. So they sent it along with her shipment uh, and explained that it was made by Prude Millard for Jefferson Davis's father, and it was a very rare piece. Well, Prude Millard never made furniture. He was a retailer, and Jefferson Davis's father did not have this piece because he didn't live in New Orleans. Uh, what's intriguing to me about the letter, though, it states, now, Mrs. Bellingrath, we know you didn't see it when you were here. If you don't like it, just leave it on the truck. We have a lady in Beaumont, Texas, dying to get her hands on it. And that's all Mrs. Bellingrath needed to know was that someone else was after it. So it's been sitting right here since 1936. Um, one of the odd things about this piece, though, is the hardware is not original. Um, I've had furniture experts look at it and say this form really does not exist in the uh, early, mid-19th century uh, with these cabinet doors. All of this was made up by a furniture maker in the 1930s put together to fool the eye, really. Uh, it's a beautiful piece of furniture, and it's a great conversation starter, but it certainly was not made by Prude Millard for Jefferson Davis's father, but it's a, it is a beautiful piece of furniture.